in the rough. It is Magic Circle who is sent out for the early lead. Radio Days is right there on the outside, and Venti Valentine is up close. Then a break of a length and a half to Sterling Silver and Shotgun Hotty in fifth. And the three-year-old fillies cross over now from the chute to the main track with Magic Circle setting the pace and leading by three quarters of a length. The big favorite, Radio Days, is on the outside in second, and there goes Long Shot, Shotgun Hottie, down at the rail to take third. Venti Valentine is in fourth, and Sterling Silver is in fifth. The quarter went in 24 and one-fifth seconds. Magic Circle, the leader here by three quarters of a length. Radio Days on the outside remains in second. Venti Valentine has now moved up on the outside of Radio Days. Shotgun Hottie is in behind down towards the rail, and Sterling Silver is the trailer. The leader is still Magic Circle. The lead is a neck. Radio Days is in between horses. Venti Valentine on the outside. Opening half mile in 48 seconds as they round the far turn. It is Magic Circle. Radio Days and Venti Valentine. Three of them across the track as they come for the head of the stretch. It is Magic Circle and Venti Valentine. And now Radio Days is back running in third. The field heads for home in the busher. And it is Magic Circle and Venti Valentine. And the two of them are heads apart. And here's Venti Valentine now to grab the lead. Magic Circle is back running in second. Then Radio Days, Shotgun Hottie is down at the rail. It is Venti Valentine in front and drawing away here. Venti Valentine in front as they come on for the finish. A decisive winner of the Busher Invitational Stakes. Venti Valentine, then Shotgun Hottie and Magic Circle. Number four, Venti Valentine was first. Number one, Shotgun Hottie second. Number five, Magic Circle was third. And number six, Radio Days fourth. Unofficially, four, one, five, and six. The time of the race, one minute, 39 and three-fifths seconds. <laughs> 